C and G would reimburse you for your groceries. You know what? I was just I was thinking on the way here. When we were younger, when your father was working, when he was and your dad was younger, that's when we had real customer service back yeah, then. Yeah. Pe companies cared about their customers. No. Now, I told you Verizon says, "Oh, you want the American Hero channel back? You got to give us sixty dollars a month extra." I says, "Are you out of your mind? Are you nuts? Are you out of your cotton picking mind?" That's insane. Come on. Man. Hold on. This is the first time. Yeah, this is the you first. Need a little warm. A little warm. Okay. Yeah, but I gotta think of my when I brace it. Go long, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do companies really don't care about their customers anymore these days? Well, they do care. No, they don't. Oh, okay. No, they don't. See, this one has weight to it. That's what. The other one's good too. <clears throat> so in other words, they really they got they got so greedy they really have contempt for their customers. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Now you see you see the the, the, the beauty of a of a well weighted object. Now you see how that is really going clockwise? That's great. Oh this is swinging nice. There's, oh there's hold on. Me and you. There's mine and and Billy's friend here at McDonald's, Eileen, has severe mental and psychological issues. Does our friend that Eileen. Eileen have severe mental and psychological issues? Yes. 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 And I do have to make this a little longer, like you said. Okay. Yeah, 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 yes, I do. I do. Okay. Let me think. Now, when you when a person calls customer service and you get a constant apologies, is that a way they're blowing us off? Yes. Okay. I know when your dad was was yeah. around, they didn't do shit like that. No, uh, you had real customer service. The the PSEG guy that came yesterday, what a wonderful, wonderful guy. Yeah, he works for them. He yeah. said, "We're gonna get you on, Hoss. Let's go." And Bubba Bay goes, "What? You have COPD?" I said, "Yes." They should know better. They're not allowed to turn you off if you have COPD because this is virtue. Like, that's a potential lawsuit. He, is something he, happened he said, to you? This is wrong. This is wrong. Yeah, they um. What a nice guy. Bill, Billy, Billy paid his uh, gas and electric bill and they turned it off. It Was this a an accidental glitch in the office? Oh, really? It said that, it said that the other day, too. No, it was not it was a glitch. Just meanness, I guess. Should Billy's power have been off? Should have taken three days for it to be turned back on. Should that should have should William Morrow's power have taken that long to be turned three days. back three on? Days. Three days? I didn't even know it was that long. Three days? That's in, but you know the insanity is when when the when the bill was paid it should have been posted in the computer and it should have been. No, Jimmy, they lied. Remember, we came by 10:20 that night. We couldn't gain access. Frankie said, "Billy, I left it unlocked all night." He goes, "Look at this is the lock hanging there." He goes, "What are they talking?" About? So when PSE and G claimed that they did not have access to the to the uh, power meters, were they lying? Yes, right into yes. Right into yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. See, and I, I, I looked up these on the internet, and these are these are real. What are they? They're, well. well I mean, are they American Indian? What are they? No, no, no. They're um, uh, India and the Middle East. They, in India, they're they're uh, um, the blue eye, and especially you yours with the hand, keeps away evil spirits and negative energy. But this has nice weight to it. And, and it's the same color as, as Man God's eyeball. Oop, handsome blue. 
Oh, you see all you see all the protesting on CNN? Oh, they all, should fit every, all, all fifty crap. states. All fifty states. Now, now go, go farther. Go as far as you can. Oh, okay. You want a little room. All the protesting that's done in every major city against the jo Donald Trump administration. Would this help in this coming November's election? Well, Jimmy, for who? Oh, Democrats or Republicans? No, would, would this help for the, the Democrats and, and progressive independents? Yes. What are you? What are you? Uh, independent, progressive, independent. Yeah, I'm a registered Republican, but I don't vote. Yeah, I, I vote if you know. No, I'm. I'm I think it's best. I'm still registered as a Democrat because they won't let me participate in the primaries, which is kind of like. Oh, oh goodness! You can, still, you can vote for I, this time. Because my party is shame. You know the Republicans are like, yeah, yeah, shit. This time I want all Democrats now, except. Uh, for this, this, uh, this is a time of this job from Germany. He's got to quit it. He's as criminal as they are. He's a whack job. He's from Jersey? Yeah. Who is he? Oh, I don't know. I'm not voting for him, so. Um. But I'm going all Democrat. Because the Republicans but aren't doing Jersey. Did you see what happened? Um, um, one of Bernie Sanders, the, the Spanish girl in the, from the Bronx, unseated. And she did nothing. She unseated an incumbent. She came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. Ten years. Ten years of re-election. People are just getting sick and tired. Yeah, that's where you're going to see a whole different election uh, coming up. Now, the, the, the blue, the progressive blue wave that they talk about on the news, would this wave grow by November's election? Yes. Ask us if, is the United States completely divided like never before? Is the United States of America completely divided like never before in history? Yes. Yeah, because all that. Many people that support Donald Trump tend to be Oh, many people that support Donald Trump tend to be evangelical, religious nuts, fanatics. Their, their, their religion is obviously unproven. You agree? Yes. Of course. How, how can you? How can you possibly prove it? It's like they're. And they claim to be representing God, but are they really more or less a satanic cult? Oh yeah, it's going into a big yes. Well sure, you want to tear little children away from their parents, and make them sleep on concrete floors with mylar uh, blankets and in, in a cage. Are people becoming more and more angry after today's protest? And, yes. And are people becoming more and more united after today's protest? Are people also becoming more and more united in America after today's protesting? That's the point. Will they get more and more people gathering and joining forces? You see my point? Yeah. Well, does this equate to a much larger voter turnout this November? Good, good. I hope so. Yeah, it says yeah. Now, you've got to come out. Oh, now, you, now, you, now you see, you see how I just I'm doing what you do. I'm trying to. I'm learning how to get to the point. Just uh, it's like you know, like get to the nitty gritty. Question. Bam. Right Bam. The okay, my head's getting sweaty. Let me take a coffee break. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, I hope it does. I hope. You have the right to vote. Utilize it. If you want to make a difference, you know, you're not going to do it if you well, don't come out. You know, 63% of America didn't vote this uh, when Donald Trump so got that's elected. That's great. That's how he got elected. No, he, no, he didn't. No, he got elected because our stupid system of the Electoral College. He oh. lost by 4 million that, votes. That, that's ridiculous, the Electoral College. And, and how are they going to beat him now? 11 states so far got together and they said that no more electoral. Now it's popular vote automatically gets the electoral votes.
of in states. Uh huh. So and, he's going to get an automatic. And, and, and also, he, the, lost by, he, lost, he lost by four million votes and he, he wins. And also, the, that to me. and also, the super delegate system sucks. Oh, please. And, uh, who, and who Jerry. Are you, who are you to be a super damn delegate? And who Jerry. Do you, think you are. Yeah, like you're special. You're super, a, like Supreme Court. Supreme Court. Supreme yeah. Court. Are you human? Are all the members of the Supreme Court human? You all have opinions, right? You all have a mind. Doesn't, isn't every human fallible? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't think you're supreme. Hey, you're the morons that made it legal to burn the American flag, idiots. How do the courts go around, I mean, the states go around that? Uh, you don't know this. How many states, the day after the Supreme Court said it's legal to burn the American flag, I forget how many states came out with a new law. Meaning, it's only a misdemeanor and a $25 fine if you beat up someone burning the American flag. Meaning, you go out and kick their ass. And you didn't see many flags. When, when did you hear of a flag being burned, right? And, and, they said, oh, crap, they're come and, and I think they honestly overreacted with those football players about, about kneeling for the national oh, you anthem. I want to kneel, you kneel. So what? Who cares? I don't care if you kneel, if you stand on your head or fart. I mean, do what you want. Um, really? Oh, gerrymandering, that's another uh, rigged uh, tactic. We know when you gerrymander a district. Arrange the uh, borders or whatever. And, uh, and this, is, this is insane what they do. But I'm glad they got together and so the electoral votes automatically go to who gets the popular vote. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's good to hear. Oh, the popular vote? That's well, good to well, that's hear. how it, that's how, <laughs> yeah. that's how it originally, that's, that's how it originally was. Voting, well, the electoral it. process. I can't get over. He lost by four million plus, and he still wins. I don't. I just don't buy this. And then he argued, and you saw the side-by-side -side photos of his inauguration. <laughs> oh, the biggest ever. The big. No, it was one of the smallest ever. Oh, his turnouts were pathetic in reality, though. No. And Hillary's wasn't that great either. She didn't have an inauguration. She didn't no. win. Though. No, I mean her her rallies. No, I'm talking about his inauguration. Oh, that. Yeah. Remember the, the the White House, what do they call it? Oh, the, the, he didn't have a good turnout at all. It's all that white area. Well, and you know, they claimed it was the biggest ever. You know who showed up? All the red, redneck races show up. Show up. Oh, you know who's the front probably? David Duke and his clan. Yeah. You know what? I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna name this Man God Morrow, if you don't mind, because it has your eye color and and it, and it performs so. I mean, look at it, cobalt blue. Look mm -hmm. at that. I mean, for a dollar, and and it's historic. Oh. It's historically is, documented. Is Trump? Hold on. Let me get it into position. Okay. Is Donald Trump an absolutely horrible president? Is Donald Trump an absolutely horrible president of the United States? Yes. 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 Oh yeah, this thing, this thing swings like really, really good. Man, God, moral. Man, God, moral. He's alienated our, big, <coughs> our biggest uh, allies in history. He ticked off all of Europe, the European, France, Great Britain. Did you hear that? Canada. Did you hear that asshole statement he made about the that the European Union has been taking advantage and, and, and screwing the United States? Now he's going to alienate the some, European... Some, some of the things, to be honest, he has said are right. They haven't been paying their fair share to NATO, the 2%. That's the what he meant, right? He's right. They should be paying 2% to NATO. We haven't... And, going and China, and China, 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 China with the well, tariffs. China, don't ever trust, trust China. Don't ever trust Saudi Arabia. That's a, that's a so-called friendship out of oil. You know what, you know what I saw? I Saudi saw... Arabia backs more terrorist groups. Don't kid yourself. Well, look what was happening in Yemen. Yeah, and Yemen's one of the worst. The atrocities, uh, genocide. Oh, please. Syria? This guy, Al Assad, could be assassinated. Why? Jung Un. Freaking. Uh, oh, the poison gas, the nerve gas. Oh. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, if Erdogan of Turkey, he's, he's communist. You, you know what I saw? A video of not only China mixing plastic rice with real rice to be exported, but yeah. making fake eggs. They were making yeah. fake yeah. artificial yeah. eggs and it's for Earth exporting. The Philippines who brags about the people he's murdered. Oh, he's another one that does that too? Oh, he's a dictator too. So if you disagree with them, he has you bumped off. Well, I don't know if it politically he does, but if you deal drugs or this and that, he just has you killed. 
Well, you should get a prison sentence, not be killed. But well, they're in their prison, so they run to school. These guys are nuts. Yeah. Well, I mean, those are the four that should be assassinated. Call well, our well, so-called great well, secret Delta Force or whatever, the best snipers in the world. I, get these guys? I, I saw the documentary. Castro's prisons weren't that great either. <laughs> Nobody's are. Turkey's, uh, Cuba's. Oh, I heard Turkey's election was rigged. Think. And like, well, Colombia, uh, South America, their oh, election was rigged. Argentina, uh, Brazil, all of them. You can't trust their elections. They're how does how does a friend of the former dictator win by a landslide? When you think about hey, it, how Russia, do you win by a landslide? If you challenge him, he'll poison you somewhere. You know they inter. Who is this comeback? You know they played um, interviews. I'm trying to think of the. Oh, was it Anderson Cooper or somebody else? They played interviews of past Russian politicians that went up against Putin. That at that time were alive, but are now they were assassinated. Putin's a jerk off. They were assassinated. Putin's a jerk off. And look who look who loves him. No. <laughs> you know. And he wants to have a meeting. I don't know if you heard this. Trump was at a meeting together with Putin and Un. Three of them? I said, why don't you have us have a sod there and do tear to you about well, why don't you, these two? Well, why don't you and, re resurrect, jo resurrect Joseph Stalin? Get all of you together. Get Hitler on. Right. A nice round table place to puke. You know, St you. Stalin had a lot of people executed. Oh, he didn't care about humanity. He was, I don't know who was worse, him or... Him or Adolf Hitler? Stalin was a moron. So was Lenin. Well, the only one I think that was pretty decent, everybody liked Stalin was, had a lot of people killed. was uh, Gorbachev. And, uh, oh, I heard... He, he didn't seem too bad. It was the guy that always seemed like he was drunk. I heard uh, um, 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 Brezhnev, my friend from Odessa, uh, Ukraine, says under Brezhnev, he has such a great life. He has so much leisure time. He had a beautiful, modern apartment. He was able to go go out with his friends. Everything was affordable. He says under Brezhnev, but he's got. I said you got to remember one thing. You were in the breadbasket of the Soviet Union, yeah, you Ukraine. Got, you got a favorite too. Well, Ukraine was where all the agriculture is. He so mentioned. Who's the guy besides that? Who was the guy that always looked like he was drunk, but he seemed pretty decent? Oh yeah, who the heck was? Remember the white-haired, gray-haired guy? What was his name? Not a kid. Gorbachev had the birthmark, right? Yeah. All right, no, it wasn't him. It wasn't Brezhnev. Um, oh, man. Oh, God, I know it. Yeah. But I know, I know, I know Putin makes sure there's no opposition to him at all. Well, Putin doesn't care about life. He has to be, in, I heard that I heard that he. he I, I heard, yeah, here. no, I'm gonna come out. I heard that he has enemies, and the only way he can stay alive is to be in power, something like that. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people want to kill me. Good. You know, I'm gonna follow you. All right. Oh. All right. All right. As long as you're all right, because you're red in the you're you're red in the face. Yeah, I just couldn't get out of it. Like four sips of pineapple juice and my mother stopped coughing. What kind? Real pineapple juice? No, I got it from all these unsweetened pineapple juice. From 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 last night until this morning. So you're a little red. You're okay yeah. though? Yeah, well, yeah, I always yeah. am. Okay. Yeah. Could be could be the we sun. Worry about you, Karen. She probably got a little sun boing. Little sun boing. When you see somebody red in the face. Yeah, I know. You think about do they have hypertension? Do they have you know, but I'm really, um, um, yeah, I was really surprised. I mean, fr her. from the time I gave her the few, uh, few sips, all... Oh, it's a sweet, it tastes good. Too. But it, it tastes great, too. But it immediately stopped, immediately, and lasted until the next day. You gonna give her more tonight? Yeah, I gave, before I left, I gave her some. I, I gave her some anyway. You can't overdose on this stuff. Give it to her no, every day anyway just to prevent it. It's freaking, pi and pineapple juice is good for you. you. Just give it to her every day. Let her have some. I even buy the Concord grape juice from all these. They have yeah. unsweet, like Welch's, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's a lot of sugar shit, so. Yeah. Well, even the unsweetened. That's part. why your best is really good at like a Whole Foods where it's pure and natural, like the cranberries. I wonder why the Manischewitz, all the kosher wines are Concord grape. 
I always wonder, uh, I noticed a trend with that. Um, Concord, uh, Concord, New Hampshire has some properties to it. You have, you, you've heard of Taylor? It's owned by Taylor Wines oh, in New York. Wine, yeah. uh, I think it's the Finger Lakes region. It's now owned by Constellation, a company called Constellation Enterprises, I think. Constellation, yeah, they bought out Taylor. I'd like to go in a few minutes, but we'll see with Karen. Oh, she's going on her break right yeah, now. A little chit chat, you know. Yeah, why do they call it chit? Why do they call it chit chat? Diners chit chat. That used to be that used to be uh, the Triborough Diner. There was a place on Route 46 called the Zodiac Diner when I was back in the 1980s. Oh. Yeah, they didn't last that long. I've never heard of it. They probably had a lot of bad food. Yeah, I've never heard of it. No. But, but the food is really not bad at the Chit Chat Diner. No, it's excellent. People it's really good. The arena. So many people complain about them that they're really? stingy. That they're stingy. Really. And expensive. Yeah. But, but if you go to Chit Chat and you get a hot pastrami, you know, forget about Katz's Deli. You order like hot corned beef or hot, They said they give you a decent really? size sandwich yeah, on rye bread, yeah. Because I love all that uh, brisket. Uh, that, uh, the one on Route 3 has been here for 60, 70, 80 years. No. I think it starts with a T. I can't think of names anymore. Oh, the one on... Wait, the one in Rutherford? Yeah, Route 3. Uh, the, uh, Route 3. Well, not the Meadowlands Diner. No, no another right one. Here. This is not three. It's up there. Here oh, the TikTok. TikTok, yes. You know, Jerry Seinfeld was there too with one of his episodes, uh, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. He 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 was at the TikTok Diner. That's, that's been there 60, 70, 80 they years. They said it was a landmark. Yeah. Well, you can tell. It's, it's an old-fashioned, yeah. you know. It's the way it should be a diner. Yeah. You know, like, it looks more like a restaurant. It doesn't look like a diner. Like the Bendix Diner. It's old. That's like a diner. Yeah. Remember Rosie's Diner? Yeah, yeah, that was great. You know, they moved like way out. out. In the Midwest somewhere, so it's Powell's Diner from up way up in Mawa. That's out in the Midwest, too, reopened. Oh, God. When, when I used to go to the. Um, Would you bring it? When I used to go to Sheridan. Not even a fry? Oh, Karen. Well, she got, she got fries, but they're hers. No, I want you to have fun with it. You know, um, you know, you know, Illusions, the dance club in the Sheridan Hotel in Mawa. I've never been there, but I know it. It, it was really nice. Yeah. They had food. Um, on, like if you go, still there? they charge a cover charge, but they had hot, a nice hot and cold buffet. Still there? Still there. They barbecue and everything outside. But you know what? There was a, um, a speed trap. The cops in like Ramsey or whatever. Coming home on Route, on Route 17, going south. You know you've been drinking. You know. And, it, and, 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 and this is this is Jimmy. This is Gestapo. Yeah, they had this 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 little uh, a nook or cranny or whatever where they would hide the car. You would never see them. You would never see them, and they knew people were coming from the dance club. You know, to me that is that's some trash. Well, they know damn well people are going to come down Route yeah, 17. This is wrong. This is wrong. It, it's, speed, it's entrapment and a speed trap. The only one who can get through that is Sal. He doesn't drink. Excuse me? Sal, Sal Cotri don't drink? He drink. What the hell? Is he Amish or something? What is he like? He's pure, he's pure, he's pure, he's pure. He gets, not, I, not even a beer? No, I think he gets soda or water. Oh boy, that's a fun dude. We're yeah. boring. Not yeah, even. They all want to marry you. Not even a beer. That's a sound. Get something. Are you kidding me? If I shook up a vodka martini with the three olives, I I suck that thing damn thing down. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. It's, it's not gonna hurt you. Oh him? Oh he would be bombed out of his mind. I, and I have the, my brother bought me the stainless steel shaker, too. Oh, with that spring top thing? No, it doesn't have a spring. You gotta kinda hold it. No, it snaps in and you, you, put, you put some ice cubes. And you know the faster you shake it, the colder it gets? Well, the ice cubes are all over the, the, the body surface. Yeah, I think the motion of the ice cubes. That's why a lot of people say shake and not stir. 
Oh, it definitely, and it gets really cold. It makes, it makes a difference. And it, like you said, uh, uh, three parts vodka, two parts yeah, vermouth. Two, two or three, depending on your preference. Yeah, vodka, uh, two. Vodka, well, gin, too, but that sucks. You don't want gin. That's no, no, I want vodka. Alcohol. That's a mean alcohol. Uh, dry vermouth, two parts dry vermouth, three. Two or three to, to one vodka to vermouth. To vermouth. Three olives, no ice, ice on the side. Well, I think there's a vodka called Three Olives. There is. It's a very good vodka. This kettle one, it's, it's American. Oh, there's a lot of it. Yeah. But I like, I, I like the Finland, uh, no, wait a minute. Uh, um, um, the, the, the Scandinavian vodka. Jimmy, Jimmy, even the cheap Absolute. Even the cheap ones are good. Absolute. Well, what would they make it from? Potatoes or it rye? Varies, it varies. Different things. Different things. But you know, all good. You know, when it comes to hard the liquor. Smirnoff, you got the cheap ones <coughs> like, uh, I can't remember their names. Stolichnaya. Stolichnaya. Stoli. Yeah. I've never had a bad one. You know? Wait, and, and you know what they have at home? But I will tell you, the Swedish one is real smooth. You will notice a different Svetka. Okay, now, uh, Home Liquors, which is next to Garfield, big Polish community. There's a lot of Polish vodkas in there that we never heard of. You know what? Isn't it weird that it, 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 it's South, Hack South Hackensack is in two separate regions. One is by you know Teterboro. Be, I'm heading up to Lodi, but when I go to Stop and Shop, I'm in Hackensack. South Hackensack. But it's still Hackensack. No, Why but, isn't that Lodi? No, but actual, but the actual town of South Hackensack is in two spots. I know, it's all... Who designed these? Who did these borders? I wonder if there's any other part of the country, any other borough... This is gerrymandering. This is gerrymandering. Wouldn't it be funny if somebody named Jerry, his last name was Mandering? Mander. There's probably somebody out there. Oh, and if he became a politician, Jerry Mander. Well, it's not as bad as Ben Benjamin Dover. I think we should make Ben Dover. Office. Or Arthur Ritus. Or, or, or Dick Cummins. That's pretty bad. What'd you get? Or, or broad certified urologist, Dick Trickle. She's chewing. Wait a minute. Yeah, you know what? It's gonna whistle. What are you good, Karen? Are you gonna get clam chowder? I remember he told me, and we all know that some of the best food places are up in New England are these little sea shacks. I remember 10, 15 years ago, he said he got a clam chowder was so thick he had to take a spoon or a fork. And, to uh, find the and potatoes. And the clams out of the way to see the soup raw. Kelly's, that thick? Kelly's famous roast beef. The original is in Revere, Massachusetts, which is a suburb of Boston. And the other one is on Route 1 in Saugus, Massachusetts, which happens to be the same Route 1 that comes down here. I had New England clam chowder that was really hardcore. They had whole belly clams and, and, and very few potatoes. And it was all in a heavy cream sauce. Then I had fish and chips made of haddock, not, not just cod. Haddock is the most expensive of the cod family. No polish, haddock, haddock. Deep fried with big steak fries. Like like 50 times thicker than that. So the best clam chowder you had was Friendly's though? No, Friendly's is, is another New England company, but it's not bad. But you gotta tell them to stir the pot, otherwise you end up with, with uh, liquid. You know, because all the potatoes and clams goes to the bottom. But, you, but not like Kelly's, I mean, Kelly's. Was it a sea shack, small place? No, actually it was quite big and they had a huge marine tank right in the center of the place. They had a reef, uh, Karen, they had a reef with 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 ultraviolet bulbs with sea and enemies and cor live corals oh, i want to see friends i don't need any anemones you know popeye's father played by ray walston said an enemy instead of enemy well they had to mispronounce the words you know that was robin williams everything is food 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 remember that that was Shelley Duval played the Olive Oil. Olive, olive Earl. Well, she made a good Olive Earl. She now, she was also in The Shining with uh, Jack Nicholson. What else did she ever do? Nothing. I think that's all she did. Nothing. She just vanished from her. Shelley Duval, yeah. I think she went to work at a McDonald's somewhere. Was she related to Robert Duval? Well, why is she a Duval? Just by Who coincidence. Has name? Oh, I there was more McDonald's. Madonna's out there. Too. Tiny bubbles. Huh? 
No, no. I already said that. No. Yeah. That's not a common name. A little light chit chat here. Uh, after it's the calm after the storm. We did some heavy duty talk before, so now a little light chit chat. We miss your girlfriend, Eileen. Oh God. Oh my God. Talk about whiskey and hot liquor. <laughs> I told her, I said, Eileen, you and that laugh drive me nuts. She got so intimidated when we did the pendulum asking you questions because it was telling her, it was, tell, it was telling her the things she didn't want to hear. Well, the bottom line is, uh, these things don't joke around. They do tell you the truth. And her belief in God and this and that. We told her, we said, oh, no, no, no. It's just, it's just idiot she claims is my guy. Well, you don't make fun no, of those. No, 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 no. That's not a toy. Yeah, but you got to be you careful don't play with, with that. those. That's, you can open up a portal with That's with, serious business. I say, don't play with it. And you know why don't, the... Make, the you better take it serious. You know why the words goodbye is on the, in the um, the lower right-hand corner? You're supposed to say goodbye to close the portal. Otherwise, if that portal's left open... It's like turning up a light switch. Yep. You no, it is not a toy. You never know what's going to come They've through always that. always had warnings. You know, don't you treat this thing like a toy and make fun of it. Don't ever. But, but the, the problem with the Ouija, you never know what's going to come through that portal. Well, you also don't know what respects and likes people and dislikes others. Right. And they can say, it can say it's anything. Well, sometimes they like people. They do like certain people. They will treat them well. And, and and if they if they don't like if you're it, you're a total jerk. They'll come after you. Well, they'll they'll attach themselves yeah. to you, and they'll make you sick. Yeah, but if they like you, they'll help you and defend you. I I seen I watch um, uh, the Dead Files and the Ghost Adventures, and these people that are in homes with evil an evil presence, they wake up with scratches on their body. They actually spell out words sometimes, and they get pulled out of bed by the ankles. So like, Phew. And it, and it says, oh no, when, you, when, when an evil spirit hits you, you get hit hard. It's not like, you know, it's not a love tap or anything. I'm not to interrupt you, but what are you getting tonight? Everything is food. food. You know, it looks good. The Real new, cheese. The new ads are doing for IHOP with all those burgers. They look good. Did they have a decent, uh, no, actually, the Friendly's has these skinny, skinny fries, I think. They don't have big fries there, do they? they don't have steak fries, no. I like steak fries, fries, don't you? Their fries yeah. are thicker than ours, though. They're thicker. Your fries aren't great anymore. <laughs> but yours aren't great anymore. Remember, McDonald's used to be known for their fries? That's nothing special. You know, I mean, he's got great, great stuff now. It's Burger King and Wendy's. You know, I, I wish we had an Arby's. Well, I wish I. There used to be one here. There wants to be one down to Route 17 oh, South. Starbucks now. Yeah. Well. Used to be the Franklin Diner. Well, I hope the I hope the Golden Corral is really going to come to our area. You yeah, know, have a gold mine. You know. You know this rich. We are, we don't know. I want to. It looks great. I know. I, I, ne I never been there. A lot of people I know have been to them, and they all said it's great. You know, they all said it's great, Billy. It's great. You mean people who have actually been to Golden well, Corral? Different areas of other states or whatever, but not around here because we don't have one. You know, you know what what place has a lot of um, awesome buffets is Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. They got like a lot of nice. And they're also famous for that chain years ago, the Spotless Calico Kitchen. Calico Kitchen, uh, Shady Maple Farms. Yeah, way back. Yeah, down towards towards Total. Shady Maple they're, Farms. They're spotless. Miller's. The food is great. It was four forty six. I remember that yeah, long strip it. mall. Yeah. You know where? Mem remember Ponderosa? And you also had Bonanza. And Bonanza. You had both. You had both. And the other one that was great was Sizzlers. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Was good. That was good. And the Ground Round. Remember, the, it was Ground right over here. For a long time. Remember Mike's... Uh, Ground Round was here a long time. Yeah. Remember Fat Mike's, the hot dog place that was Down right here, yeah. right here yeah. on 17th? Yeah. Fat Mike's. Yeah. Fat Mike's. You know who waited on me down there? Who? Don Imus. Really? Uh-huh. Was he... The famous Don Imus yeah, back, back in the 70s, I'm behind a guy, and Imus, I didn't know who it was, we had to register. 
The guy said, Ivis, what are you doing here? He goes, ah, Mike needed some help, so I'm just filling in for a while. <laughs> they told me later it was Don, that was Don Ivis. Yeah. I yeah. was like, who's Don Ivis? Because it was a huge, huge name. Right. This is in the 70s. Right. But that, I, later on, I was, that was Don Ivis. So now, now talk about landmarks. Remember Callahan's? The ori- oh, yeah. one Fort Lee's? Byram's right next door. The original in Fort Lee? Byram's is still there. And there's one here. Oh, really? Byram's is still there. There was a Callahan's right on, right here on Route 17 South? Right here, and there was one on 46. Right. And they reopened. Oh, so big, oh, they so reopened. good. Look at where they reopened. That was their slogan. Where? Way up in Norwood. That's not a... That's well. That's a big money area, right? But they don't. They're not really well, into. How many people are going to go way up there? I mean, here if you're on the major highways in the country, come on, man. Yeah, but people with money, muckety muckety mucks, they're not really into hot dogs. You know, uh, Hiram's still there. They're still doing a great business too. The only problem I have with Callahan's is the bun would get so soggy and mushy from the relish and the sauerkraut. The hot dog was bigger than the damn bun. Yeah. And it would just like fall apart. And I would end up with a big friggin' hot dog. Good stuff. But it was good stuff. You gotta like the way you look. I guarantee it. We're gonna stuff your gut like it's tomorrow. <laughs> That's the golden curl. <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be funny if they, they hired him and- We give me meaning to the phrase, pick it out. Pick out. <laughs> Karen, you have a good time tonight. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.